Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Continuing on in our study of Aqidah Tawasatiyah and we are still in the attributes uh, discussing the divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as mentioned in the Quran that Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah uh, rahimahullah ta'ala that he mentioned in his book Aqidah Tawasatiyah and we reached the point in the treaties where Shaykh al-Islam was referring to the attributes of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's being pardoning uh, ha- possessing the attribute of uh, of parting al afwa and he mentions some of the verses wa qawluhu in tabdu khayran o tukhfuhu o ta'fu ansu fa inna allaha kana afuwan qadira wa qawluhu wa la ya'fu wa la yasfahu yasfahu Alla uh, Alla to Hibboon and Yagfir Allah Hulakum, Wallahu Gufurun Gufuru Rahim, Wakolahu Willilahi Lezza to Willi Rosulihi Willil Mu'minin, Wakolahu Fabi Ezzetika, Li Ogwiyanahum Ejmain, Wakolahu Tabarakas Murabika Gul Jalali Willikram, Wakolahu Fatbuduhu, Fatbuduhu, Fatbuduhu. وَاسْتَبِرْ وَاسْتَبِرْ لِعِبَادَتِهِ هَلْ تَعْلَمُوا لَهُ سَمِيَا وَقَوْلُهُ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ وَقَوْلُهُ فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ يَنْدَادٍ وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ وَقَوْلُهُ وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَتَّخِذُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ يَنْدَادٍ يُحِبُّونَهُمْ كحب الله وقوله وقول الحمد لله الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في في الملك في الملك ولم يكن له ولي من الذل وكب وكب وكبر وكبره وكبره تكبيرا وقوله يسبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الارض له الملك ولا الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير وقوله تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على على عبده ليكون للعالمين نذيرا وقول الذي له ملك السماوات والارض ولم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في ملك وخلق كل شيء فقد فقدره تقديرا وقوله ما تخذ ما ما تخذ الله من ولد وما كان معه من إله إذا إذا ذهب كل إله بما خلق ولعل بعضهم على بعض سبحان الله عما يصفون عالم الغيب والشهادة فت فتعالى عما يشركون وقوله فلا تضربوا لله امثالا ان الله يعلم وانتم لا تعلمون وقوله قل انما حرم رب الفواحش ما ظهر منها وما بطن والاثم والبغي بغير حق وان تشركوا بالله ما لم ينزل به سلطانا وَأَن تَقُولُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ So and in those, all of those verses, in the first verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكَرِيمِ Whether you disclose by good words of thanks a good deed done to you in the form of a favor by someone, or conceal it, or pardon an evil, verily Allah is ever off pardoning all powerful and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and let them pardon and forgive do not love that Allah should forgive you do you not love that Allah should forgive you and Allah is off forgiving most merciful and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says but honor power and glory belong to Allah his messenger and to the believers and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, 
by your might, and this was a statement of Iblis, Shaitan, by your might, then I will surely mislead them all. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Blessed is the name of your Lord Allah, the owner of the majesty and honor. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, So worship him alone and be constant and patient in his worship. Do you know of any who is similar to him? And, the, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And there is none co-equal or comparable unto him. And Allah says, Then do not set up rivals unto Allah, while you know that he alone has the right to be worshipped. And Allah the Almighty said, and of, all, and of mankind are some who take for worship others besides Allah as rivals to Allah. They love them as they love Allah. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala said, And say, all the praises and thanks are to Allah, who has not begotten a son, nor, nor an offspring, and who has no partner in his dominion, nor he is low to have a wali, that Allah does not need a helper or protector. And Allah the Almighty says, Whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is on the earth glorifies Allah. He is... Uh, his is the dominion, and to him belong all the praises and thanks, and he is able to do all things. And Allah the Almighty said, Blessed is he who sent down the criterion, al-Furqan, to his slave Muhammad, that he may be a warner to, the, to mankind and jinn. He to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and who has begotten no son, and for whom there is no partner in the dominion. He has created everything and has measured it exactly according to its due measurements. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He said, No son did Allah beget, nor is there any ilah or God along with him. Behold, and if, and if there had been many gods, behold, each god would have taken away what he had created, and some would have tried to overcome others. Glorified is Allah above all that they attribute to him. All, uh, Allah is uh, all-knower of the unseen and the seen. Exalted is he over all that they associate as partners to him. And Allah the Almighty said, So put not forward similitudes for Allah, as there is nothing similar to him, nor he resembles anything. Truly Allah knows and you know not. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Say, O Muhammad, but the things that my Lord has indeed forbidden are al-fawahish, meaning the great and evil sins, every kind of unlawful sexual intercourse, whether committed openly or secretly, sins, unrighteous oppression, joining partners in worship with Allah, for which he has given no authority, and saying things about Allah of which you have no knowledge. All of those verses, they show that they show the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His divine attributes uh, that He subhanahu wa ta'ala pardons. And all of these attributes are in accordance, they are, they are attributes of Allah the Almighty. And they illustrate as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, said in many of those verses, they affirm for us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no partners, that he subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship, and that he is off pardoning to his servants and his slaves. And in one of the verses where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, mentions that he uh, that many people they speak without knowledge and they make things lawful that are unlawful without authority. You know, they, they believe fahisha, fawahish, uh, sinfulness is lawful and they have no authority to do so. For example, uh, in this time we see that it's becoming in some countries, it, they've made it permissible for men to marry men and women to marry uh, women. And even I heard just recently that in Germany that they have made it uh, permissible for people to have relations with animals in certain places. And I don't know all the conditions, but I heard it from someone who is a reputable Muslim who came across this 
and related this to me. So it shows you these people have no authority and they've transgressed every bound, everything the law has per prohibited, every kind of wicked and evil sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited, they have made lawful. They have no authority to do so. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms this. Alama ibn al-Qayyum writes in his book, Alama al-Muwaqi'een, he said, Allah has forbidden saying anything regarding him without knowing it while issuing a fatwa or judgment and has regarded it among the greatest prohibitions. In fact, he has kept it on the top of the list, meaning the top of the list of those things which are sinful. And this this is related to the verse, Ibn al-Qayyum, he mentioned the verse that we already read, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنَّمَا حَرَّمَ رَبِّي الْفَوَاهِشَ مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَمَا بَطَنْ Say, O Muhammad, but the things that are, my Lord has indeed forbidden are al-fawahish, meaning those great sins, uh, whether committed openly or secretly. So even if it's done secretly, it's not hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's knowledge is all-encompassing subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Shahid Sheikh Salih bin Fawzan, he mentioned the main point here. He says these verses, they illustrate for us, they negate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has any partner and they affirm for him that he, his perfection and that his perf his perfection that he subhanahu wa ta'ala alone is the lord of his dominion and they also negate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a child has a son and that he has any partners and that he has anything that resembles him and that is equal to him or even resembles him from his creation no, he and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, frees himself from uh, any and all forms of shirk and that there could be any partners or likeness from his creation with him subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam